Their ultimate schizophrenic goal is to plow, pesticide, and genocide this planet into a sterile and lifeless has-been. <laughs> what the f*** does that mean? Oh, we have schizophrenic goals to destroy the planet. That's, that's why we're vegan, everyone. Hey, it's David here at Skinny Vegan Fitness, back with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be reacting to an anti-vegan video. I was just checking through my comments the other day and I came across a comment linking me to another YouTube video. I clicked the link and lo and behold, it's an anti-vegan video, some vegan cult video, the vegan kill cult. I had a quick look at it and I thought I'd like to respond to this. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna react to this video, the vegan kill cult. Let's see what they have to say about veganism and let's see why veganism is a kill cult. Truth be known, veganism is an absolute bloodbath and torture train. The annual number of animals slaughtered and maimed in the name of grains, nuts, seeds, roots, tubers, fruits, and vegetables is absurdly gargantuan. Far so we're off to a pretty bad start and uh, the reason I say that is because this person's just saying that only vegans eat all of those I food items. <laughs> no, everyone in the world eats those food items, almost everyone in the world, that people aren't just consuming animal products alone. There are some people that believe that it's all you should eat and they are definitely in, in the minority of the population of the planet. The most of the planet eats a diet that includes both animal and plant-based products. So we're off to a pretty bad start if we're gonna say vegans are responsible for every single vegetable and, and nut and seed grown on the earth. It's, it's just not true. Let's, let's continue and see what else this person has to say. Farmers routinely unleash an arsenal of deadly weaponry upon squirrels, rabbits, raccoon, mice, rats, possum, groundhogs, ground squirrels, moles, voles, deer, birds, turtles, frogs, bees, aphids, crickets, grasshoppers, worms, caterpillars, grubs, ants, and many, many more who compete for the nuts, seeds, fruits, leaves, and tubers so sought after by the human herbivore population. No, <laughs> not the only sought after by the human herbivore population. They're sought after by the population. So although this person is correct in that a lot of these animals, unfortunately, do die due to the agriculture system of a plant-based agricultural systems, it's true that this happens. I mean, you can't argue with that. It's not only for vegans. And one thing we do have to consider at this point is that the majority of plant food grown in, in, on Earth is grown to feed animals in the animal agriculture industries not humans. There are, there are around 8 billion humans, but there are over 60 billion land animals that are raised, bred and raised every year to be killed for food, for the industries, for, for, people, for the various different industries, but the food industry, clothing industries, etc. So, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that a, a cow with the size of that they are, or a pig with the size that they are, eats a lot more plant food than a human. And when there are over 10 times the amount of those animals than humans, it's, it's a simple deduction that they're going to eat more plant-based food than humans. They're gonna eat more of that. And that, that's, that's the majority of the food we're growing is for those animals. So again, although this happens and although it's definitely bad, the main cause of it is eating animal products, not eating plants. Come harvest time, combines and harvesters unavoidably shred millions of living critters who are living and breathing among the crops. That has been largely debunked, and uh, I can provide the study to that. It's in the description, you wanna check it out. But it's been largely debunked because these combine harvesters, they're noisy. It's like an earthquake. And I don't know about you if you've ever dealt with or been close to wild rabbits or wild insects or wild animals, but they run away pretty quickly, right? And a combine harvester is a big, slow, heavy machine. These machines are like, are like very, very heavy, all right? They're, they're big, they're noisy, and they're slow. Animals run away from them. Yes, some of them get caught up, and some of them may, unfortunately, die in that way, and that's really sad, but the majority of them will get away from these things. And that's not saying, I'm not saying I'm pro-combine harvester. It's not like if we could find a better way to do this, I would absolutely support that, and, I'm, and I hope that we can do that. And I, I, make, I make efforts to buy local myself, and, and obviously for yourself too, if, if you, 
see a problem with that if you if you don't want to contribute to to these big industrial plant farming uh, operations then then you know you could seek the alternative to it but the alternative to it is not to go and pay someone to kill animals on purpose so to give you a comparison of these two things side by side or why it's a false equivalency to say okay plant farming kills animals uh, so therefore we, we shouldn't eat plants so we should just go and eat animal products well the thing is driving cars kills humans right car accidents kill humans a lot of humans every year but that doesn't mean that you can drive your car into a human on purpose does it because then that that's has intent you intend to kill but we don't ban cars because they kill humans by accident. These combine harvesters, they're not killing animals on purpose, it's accidental. So it's not comparable, of course. One doesn't justify the other. A combine harvester killing animals doesn't justify going and slitting other animals' throats on purpose. It is a cold, cold heart that can ignore the palpable suffering that's required to bring plant-based foods to the plates of culpable vegans around the world. It's not only for vegans. This is so funny. There are so many people all over the world that are not vegan that are eating plant plant based foods. In fact, even even people who are not vegan, the majority of their diet comes from plants, not from animal products. Animal products are for most people in a minority when it hits the plate. It's mainly plant based foods that make up our meals. Vegetable farmers begin their annual reign of hell on earth by tilling the soil. Tillage kills all sorts of soil life and completely disrupts a healthy soil horizon profile. Each time a farmer tills a field, massive carbon emissions are released from the soil, downgrading soil carbon and quality each and every time. This is the real driving force of global desertification. So yeah, a lot of what he's saying here is absolutely true. And these massive industrial uh, operations that where they do this to the soil and they do this to the land, um, it's not great. But as we mentioned earlier, the majority of this is being done to grow food for animals, for animal feed, for these animals in the industries. That's the, what the majority of this food is going for, not for human consumption. So although this person's making a valid point here, they're making a valid point against themselves. It's not against, against veganism or the plant-based diet, it's against animal agriculture and that industry that this point stands for. Then, to keep the vegetable and fruit heathens supplied with their fix, the farmers wage war against nature with the sides. Side is a suffix that means to kill, and boy do they. These vegetable and fruit farmers spray and sprinkle indiscriminate bactericides, herbicides, insecticides, and rodenticides. In addition to conventional chemical warfare, they also attack with live traps, steel traps, drown traps, pistols, rifles, shotguns, dogs, and grain grinders. Yeah, so these uh, pesticides and herb herbicides and all these things, absolutely, I, I agree, it's not good for humans to consume. And it's also not good that it's, that it's you know, killing all this life. I totally agree. And I think uh, we, we could all make a bit more of an effort to try to find foods that don't include those things. However, for most people, it's, it's almost impossible to avoid foods that have been treated with herbicides and pesticides. Like, it's very, very difficult for many people around the world, if not impossible, because of the cost, because it's quite expensive to buy foods that are organic and not treated with pesticides and herbicides. So unfortunately, we're in a bit of a weird position where it's, it's a, we can make one step to go vegan and plant, or plant-based, at least plant-based, to change our diets, and that's doing something very good. But then to go to the extra step, it, it, you know, a lot of people would find that near impossible. Whereas to be vegan or plant-based, many people would find that to be totally feasible because most plant-based foods are actually quite cheap. Uh, they're the cheapest foods you can, uh, that are available in supermarkets in most places in the world, whereas organic vegetables, organic plant-based foods is a bit expensive and a bit out of reach for most people. So it's a problem for sure, and it's something that we can address moving forward as a, as a community, as a society. We can demand foods that are organic, that haven't been treated with these um, pesticides, herbicides, etc., and the chemicals that he was talking about. Also, regarding how farmers kill animals uh, that try to infringe on their, on their land, infringe on their produce. Well, absolutely, animal-based farmers do that also. Animal farmers do that also, of course. They kill foxes, they kill any animal that comes anywhere near the, uh, the animals that they are rearing. So this is not something that's only fruit and vegetable farmers are doing. And one more point to make again, just to remind you that the majority of plant food grown on the planet is grown to feed other animals to kill them and use them for, for various different things 
things, but mainly food and obviously skin and all these different things like clothing and stuff like that. So, so if this is a problem that this person wants to stop, then the best thing they could do is to go vegan because then they won't be contributing to the majority of, of this because the majority of this is done for animal feed, not for food that humans would consume. All this killing is not just a one-time event either. This is an annual cycle of schizophrenic annual cruelty that repeats itself year in and year out, dealing out misery, bloodshed, and environmental havoc and chaos in the name of veganism. Is that in the name of veganism? As I've said multiple times, it is in the name predominantly of animal agriculture that this is done because it's animal feed that is the majority of, of what the majority of plant food on the planet is grown to feed animals for animal feed, not for human consumption. And the food that is grown for human consumption is not grown solely for vegans, as he keeps calling us. It's grown for the majority of the population that eats a combination of plant food and animal-based food. And the majority of people's plates is filled with plant foods, not the majority with animal foods. So again, it's, it's, a, it's a strange, real strange video with a real strange message that just doesn't make any sense so far. But let's see if we can, if we can make some more sense. Meanwhile, one pasture-raised, grass-fed cow can feed one human being for three and a half years, while not sabotaging human health with the inflammatory excess of omega-6s, to toxins, and anti-nutrients. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Uh, this this claim. Let's. That we, we're not going to get into the science of this. Like I have my. I have the, the science that I'm reading. The science that I've been uh, reading up on a lot, and the people I listen to, and the doctors and the nutritionists, etc. I listen to would absolutely disagree with this, and they would say that animal protein is directly linked uh, to a higher risk of of diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. But let's put that aside for a second. Let's imagine that that's not the case, and that that the it's not infringing on human health to eat that cow, but it is infringing on the cow's health, isn't it? It's infringing on their life. Something can be nutritionally rich for us or it can help us increase our well-being, but that doesn't make it moral to do just because it increases our well-being. Like for example, if we're going to talk about the history of the human race, the human race, the big advances we've made have been largely based on human slavery. Like right all the way back to ancient times, the biggest, most amazing things that humans have created or, or you know, uh, established on our planet have been mainly products of human slavery. All the way back, as I said, to the, to the beginning of records when they began. So could, the argument could be made that human slavery increases the well-being of some humans, therefore it's valid and it's, it's, it's moral. But it's not, it's immoral. So although this person may be right, or some people claim this, like it's, it's uh, nutritionally um, good for us to consume animals and animal products, like it's very, very good for us. Well, it's not a sole justification. There are other ways we can get that same nutrition. There are other ways we can provide nutrition for our bodies that don't involve impeding on someone else's well-being, which is what this is doing when we take that cow. Another point to, to cover here is that he talks about grass-fed and uh, organic and all these buzzwords that these people tend to use. Well, even if it were true that, that let's imagine that the, let's imagine in a perfect world, the cow doesn't, doesn't have uh, all the things that we, that we know they have like consciousness, self-awareness, uh, pain, families, friends, they don't have sentience that the cow is just a, as the, the same as a plant. Let's imagine like they're the same as a plant. And, but the only way we can have this, this scenario that this person is talking about where it's uh, you know, good for the environment, good for their health, all these things, as if they're grass-fed, well, then you can't apply this concept to the whole world because we don't have the resources, we don't have the infrastructure, we don't have... It's impossible to feed the whole world on grass-fed organic animals. It, it is not possible to feed 8 billion people this way. The, it, it, it can never happen. It's just unsustainable. It would never happen. And this is largely why these animal agriculture industries have become what they have become, where they, they have these horrible, big, huge factory farms and all these, all these things because they were, were not able to, con to supply the demand of people, of 8 billion people, doing it this way that this person is referring to. So although it is completely immoral and I'm never going to ever in a million years suggest that this is a good thing to do, like grass-fed and this, this is a good thing to do. We can agree that it's less bad than factory farming, but it's still not viable for a, the world population of 8 billion people, and it's not viable for those animals that suffer and die. It is still immoral, no matter, no matter how you rear the animal, 
no matter what you do with them and give them a perfect, beautiful life before you slit their throat, the fact is that you're always going to slit their throat and take their life from them. And that will always be immoral. That plant foods bring to the table. It's pretty clear that vegans do not love animals. <laughs> it's, it's pretty, what, what kind of, what is that? How is that a conclusion? It's pretty, pretty clear that vegans do not love animals. Like how, how does, how do we go from that to that? How do we go from what he was just been saying to this? It's, 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 it's such a propaganda video and I don't even know how else to describe it, but it's good entertainment. There's no denying that. What worries me is that some people watch this and, and it just, you know, it gives them this, this uh, bolt that they can then throw at vegans and feel like they've done something, you know, they've learned something new, that like this is all really good and scientific. And it's like, no, it's just a YouTube video. And that's it, basically. It's a YouTube video by someone who clearly has a problem with the vegans. Um, and yeah, and, and you know, it fits a lot of people's agendas that they, they hate vegans, they're looking for some more reasons to get back at vegans, and this is the perfect video. It fits that, fits that troll spot, you know? It fits that spot for the trolls so they can, they can watch this and have everything that they believe in approved and supported, and, and then they can, they can use this to, you know, share it with all their troll friends and, and go out and try and take down some vegans. Vegans do not love people. They know that more animals are killed and maimed through veganism than any other way of eating. No, that's not true. As I've said a few times now, that's not true. They, vegans don't know this because this isn't true. The majority of plant foods are grown to feed other animals, not to feed humans. And as we've been through it again, the majority of people that even vegan or not, the majority of their plate, food on their plate is vegetable food, is plant-based food. So no, it's not true. Um, <laughs> I thought it's, it's just, that's the level of stupidity is just like reaching real high levels right now. And yet they push harder because their ultimate schizophrenic goal is to plow, pesticide, and genocide this planet into a sterile and lifeless has been. <laughs> what the f does that mean? <laughs> oh, we have schizophrenic goals to destroy the planet. That's that's why we're vegan, everyone. That's why we're vegan. I think that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you. Thank you too. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Now that, that video, that video has 16,000 views. Fortunately, it's, it's not, it's not taken off. It's not gone viral. It's made by a page called Garland Farms. Uh, I don't know much about them. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, we've covered every point in that video. I hope that was at least entertaining for some of you. And, and I hope if, if you are someone who's like an anti-vegan or you're, you're thinking about maybe going vegan or you weren't sure you were here to learn, I mean, I hope this has helped you kind of see and, and, and expose some of the nonsense people say and try to excuse themselves for abusing animals and for not going vegan. Uh, this is, this is the, the level that people will go to to defend their abusive habits against others who are just trying to help the animals and you know, make people see them as individual unique beings, like sentient beings that are deserving of life, just like you and me. I mean, it's not, it's not an agenda to kill animals and destroy the world. I mean, that's just crazy. Uh, it's crazy and it's, um, ironically, the, it, the, the calling the, the vegan kill cult, I mean, this is one of the most cultish videos I've ever seen. It just screams cult. It screams carnist cult. And a carnist is someone that, just like you, just like me, most of us were born as carnists. And that means that we believe that animals are here for us to use and do what we want with them and that we can eat some of them. And, and you know, we eat some and we don't eat others. And we have all these weird kind of preferences and weird kind of cultural differences. And that's basically carnism. There's no real explanation for it. It's just something that is widely accepted as the norm. I'm going to take these off, actually. You can see where I'm right now. Yeah, it's widely accepted as the norm. And it is, it is cult-like when it appears, when it rears its ugly head, just like now at this individual with this video it's very cult-like it's very desperate to defend not being vegan um, rather than just saying okay you know what like let's make an effort to be better for the animals it's it rather than doing that it's saying well look let's try and figure out why vegans are wrong so i can keep on going on with my cult-like behavior of sacrificing animals for a snack you know so anyway, I've rambled on enough there. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this, <laughs> yeah, I, I hope this entertained you for a little bit, at least it entertained me. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if, you, if you'd like to add anything to what I said here, if you think you have a, like if something different to say, something maybe more interesting or some, 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 uh, some links to some studies and stuff like that. Uh, let me know in the comments and yeah, we can have a discussion there. 
Before you leave, please do three things for me. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. This really helps the video when you like on it and you comment on it, it helps more people see it. And when you subscribe to the channel and you click that little notification bell, you get all my videos straight to your homepage as soon as they are posted. And that's awesome, right? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.